Hey, hi guys, my name is Arun Kumar Bethi from usitrecruit.com. Welcome to CPAL Unlocked Lesson 8, where CPAL Unlocked is a place where you can able to learn all about CPAL ATS. So if you have if you are watching the video for the first time, please do hit on the subscribe button and activate the bell icon to get notified whenever I release a video on this channel. So today we are going to learn on how to do a submission from CPAL. So in order to check, let's jump onto our PC. Let's see how we can submit a candidate in CPAL to a job. So step one, navigate to job posting section. And search for the job which you want to uh, do submission for. Like just paste the job ID in the search bar and hit enter. And open up the job from here. Click on the job code or either the job title to open up the job. Click on this tick button called submit applicant at the top right corner. And paste the email address of the candidate to whom you want to submit for. And hit on enter. And select the candidate here. And if you don't find the candidate in here, please upload that new resume in CPAL by using the previous uh, clips which I have showed. And just select the candidate here and click on submit profile. And when you just scroll down, you it will ask you to up upload all the available documents here. So what you're gonna upload is the documents which you're gonna take it from the candidate, like. For example, work authorization, driver's license, rate confirmation, right to represent and any other supported documents like certifications or something. So let's see how to upload those resume, those documents here. Just click on plus button here and select click on this local drive and it will take to your computer screen and and upload the documents and select the document type whatever it is from the drop down and click on save. So try to upload all the documents like this. Whenever you upload, just select the document from here and give the availability of the candidate, which means how soon the candidate is going to join whenever you offer it. Like it means one week or two week or something. You need to take it from the candidate's end. So give the pay rate which you have confirmed from the candidate. And select the tax terms from here. And if you have an updated resume or any formatted resume, try to upload the new resume from here. And if you don't have any, just leave it as it is. And from the recipient's end, please try to select your account managers or else you, uh, your email will not be sent to your account manager. So whenever you are done with everything, just scroll down a little bit and click on save button. And scroll down a little bit and click on submit. So this is where you will get a preview of the email which is going to send it to your account manager. So ev and everything will be automated here. The submit submission notifications and the subject line. So what you're gonna do is just need to fill all the doc all the or required fields here if it is not filled and make sure if it is already filled make sure that everything is correct and clear so whenever you feel that everything is clear just click on send button so that your account manager will receive this email along with the attachments and your internal submission will be done from cpal so this is how you can able to do a submission from cpal I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video, please hit on that big fat like button below and share this video if you want to. And please write down something in this comment section which is useful in this video or if you want to ask something. And at last, before we wrap up, please do visit usitrecruit.com for more recruitment articles, tools and tips. And do subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Arun Kumar.